Well, when life gets busy, and we all know it will here coming up soon, eating a healthy home-cooked meal isn't always a priority, but with a little prep work, you can have a nutritious home-cooked meal mm. ready to go in the crock pot after a long day at work. And play rugby while you're doing it. <laughs> Uh, Join us today to showcase some healthy freezer prep meals made in the crock pot, profiled by Stanford coach Jen Enns. Thanks for bringing this rugby and I'm yes, just it's, it's, it's really a, heavy. It's this thing is perfect, four pounds. So. What is it? A zucchini or this a This is squash? a spaghetti squash. Okay. So you can find it in the grocery store <laughs> where you'd find the rest of the squash. Comes in different sizes, so if you want a big giant one, you can find it, or you can get a smaller one to feed a smaller family. Mm -hmm. But we're going to show I you how to cook it. this today. So. I, I said it looks like it's going to be hard by the end product, but you said this is super easy this for anyone. This is the easiest recipe to make. Oh, Everybody gets so a little intimidated good. about cooking new foods, but at Profile, we always encourage our members to try new vegetables. Um, mm -hmm. Get out there and do different things. You get sick of eating the same things over and over. Nobody likes to eat steamed broccoli seven days a week. So... <laughs> Spaghetti squash is a great option for that. Um, you can do a lot with it, and it's family friendly. For those people that don't really like the, a lot of vegetables, it's a good gateway into getting some new veggies in your diet. Right, sneak it in there without even telling yes. them this isn't noodles. Yes. Can and you smell this? It smells fantastic. I can smell it. I mean, I've smelt it ever since they walked in, <laughs> and I was like, hmm, that <clears> smells yep, something. That, that cheese on top really smells great. Okay, so what do we start with? So, um, with this. Uh, this squash recipe here, we have chicken, we have a pound of chicken um, that we just sauteed in a pan and uh, some buffalo sauce that we make with fat-free sour cream and Frank's Red Hot Sauce. So you just wow. dump it in there, mix it together. Um, you can make that as spicy or as not spicy as you want, depending how Midwestern your tastes are. Um, you nice. can go nuts, get it really spicy. Uh, you just bake the spaghetti squash. It's super simple. Cut it in half, put it on a cookie sheet, and stick it in the oven at 400 degrees for um, about 40 minutes is what I did this one. It depends on the size. Mm -hmm. um, and then... You take it out, you get a fork, and you scoop out the spaghetti squash. And it will come out looking just like spaghetti. If you've never done this before, it's hard to believe. It looks like a normal squash when it goes in, and it comes out in little strings like spaghetti. Okay. Um, so then you just toss it, stick your chicken and your buffalo sauce in there, um, mix it all up, put some cheese on top, and stick it back in the oven until it gets all crispy and beautiful. Wow. Mm. So it's that simple. Um, anybody can make this, and it's uh, that buffalo flavor that people miss when they're think they're on a you know a healthy diet that they can't yeah. have yeah. certain things but you can you just have to make them a little bit more healthy so can't wait to try it all right um so the other recipe that we're talking about today this is kind of a new um popular idea on pinterest if you're into pinterest you'll have seen this but yep. making um freezer meals for your crock pot in ziploc bags so you prep everything beforehand you stick them in the freezer and then um they're ready to go for back to school when you're busy and your kids have activities and you just need that quick meal. You pull one of these Ziploc bags out of the freezer the night before, thaw it, and then just toss it in your crock pot in the morning and it's magically ready when you get home from work. Super simple. So this one is from our um, Profile by Sanford website, profileplan.net. You can find tons and tons of great recipes there, but this one is called um, Slow Cooker Chicken Parmesan with Spaghetti Squash Ooh. and Balsamic Roasted Tomatoes. That's kind of a, that's mm. a mouthful, mm. but um, it's gonna be a really delicious mouthful. So I'll show you how to make this. You get your Ziploc freezer bag, and we have our chicken breasts already in there. You can use um, chicken breasts, chicken cutlets, whatever size you want. It's not, not important, but you mm -hmm. just um, put them in the bag. And then we're going to use some crushed tomatoes. Um, here we've got it in our magic bullet. So we have the can of crushed tomatoes in here. Um, we're going to add salt and pepper. So well, we'll spice it up here. Um, this is just making a homemade spaghetti sauce. So, um, you know, when you buy spaghetti sauce in the store, it's going to have a lot of different stuff in it. If you're not a great label reader and you don't know what ingredients you're wanting to avoid in there, um, this right. is a great way to go to make sure you're getting just the ingredients that you want. Um, tomato sauce should be the tomatoes and seasoning. So we're going to spice it up. Um, you can put as much or as little as you want. I'm putting about a half a teaspoon just um, going by. I'm eyeballing it here, uh, which is not the profile way we measure things. But um, we're eyeballing this to get it as, as spicy or as not spicy as you want. So if you want a little bit more kick to it, add some crushed red pepper. Mm -hmm. um, this recipe is kind of just your standard. So then we're going to put it in the magic bullet here. And you blend it up, and then this is going to go right in the bag. Oh, okay. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. So hold it so open. This is so easy. Um, you just dump it all together, and 
even the prep work is quick and easy. So we hold this open. They make nifty little holders for your Ziploc bags. If you go on Amazon, it's a little plastic thing that holds the edges up, so it makes the prep work a little easier if you want yeah. to do a lot of this. Then you wouldn't need multiple people in the kitchen. Just exactly. you, meal prep it, throw in the freezer. Yeah, if you've got a handy assistant to hold it open for you, even better. <laughs> so we just dump everything in there. Um, we're gonna zip it closed and toss it in the freezer. The spaghetti squash you don't freeze. That's gonna go in the crock pot the morning of, so you just cut it in half um, and you stick it all um, you put it on top of the chicken in the crock pot. So this you just dump in there, turn it on, cut the spaghetti squash in half and set it on top and leave it. Um, you get home from work and pull this out of the crock pot. It should be all ready to go. And then um, the chicken goes on a baking sheet. So you're going to put it in the oven, preheat your oven right when you get home. Toss those on there with a slice of mozzarella cheese on top. Mm. So this is chicken parmesan, right? We want the nice. cheese. Nice. Mm. The cheese is what smells so good. So then you're going to bake that um, and then scoop out the spaghetti squash while that's in the oven. Mm -hmm. So it'll be cut in half just like this. You can use a spoon or a fork, scoop that stuff out of there, and it's just like spaghetti. So when this is done in the oven, um, you put it on top of the spaghetti squash, and there's your beautiful... Parmesan spaghetti so, squash, healthy meal. What's the best way to make sure I get a good spaghetti squash? Do you have any suggestions? Well, you, you want to make sure or? that they don't have any bad spots in them. You can do that, the, you know, um, just make sure that there aren't squishy things mm -hmm. in there. They're uh, very solid, so it's rare that you have any issue picking out a good one. They're really easy. And oh. go by size. So if you have a family of, you know, two or three, you're going to want a smaller one, and they do come in much smaller and bigger sizes. Um, I have a huge family, so I get the biggest one I can find. Yeah. And you might want to even, um, you know, make a little bit more of your sauce or whatever it is that you're putting in with it if you are getting a bigger one. Um, but there's not much to picking it out. You just grab one and go. Nice. They're kind of hard to cut. It's pretty dense. Um, like we said, this so is you might, you said super you heavy. Microwave it. So I, what I did when I made this one is like I microwave it for five minutes, and it'll say that in the recipe here, um, on the profile website where you get those recipes. Um, cut it in half, then it's easier because it's a little bit softer. And why is it so important that you're switching to the spaghetti, the squash, instead of using like noodles? Good question. So a lot of people are looking to cut a few of the carbs <clears throat> out in our diet. Um, you know, extra carbohydrates in your body, um, just like sugar, can cause a lot of problems in there. And most of our diets are a little bit too high in carbohydrates already. So um, especially with our profile members, we focus on getting the right balance of carbohydrates, the protein and fats. So cutting some of those those extras out is great um, for people with gluten sensitivities mm -hmm. or any other issues that they want to be um, carb free. This is a great option because it has next to no carbs in it. I just need a fork over here. I was here. just yep, thinking the same thing. I need a fork. Larson. Yeah, so here we go. You were in my of, head. Oh, you have one, a couple forks. I didn't, okay. One yes. more time. Let's yeah, remind people where they can go find more of Profile's so, recipes. So profileplan.net is our website, and you'll find all kinds of healthy recipes on there. That is for anybody to wow. use. Um, but if you want to become a Profile member, um, you can use the promotional code. Um, uh, mm. Cook, mm. healthy cooking to put it on our website and get a membership for just $99 for the entire year. Wow. And with that, you get coaching um, with our, our certified profile coaches to help you make those lifestyle changes, um, teach you how to cook some things. We offer cooking classes. Mm. I'm in a personalized meal plan to help people implement some of these things into their life. Things that everybody knows how to do and maybe that just has so a good. harder time putting into practice. Oh my gosh, dibs on this whole squash over <laughs> here. Yeah, okay, first. so you get this half it's and you get so that half. It's so delicious. There's your, there's Thank your you lunch. very much. Yes. Appreciate you doing that. Mm. All right, stay with us when we come back. Much more coming up right here on North Dakota Today.